we have uh, Ms. Marion Shucks on our call today. She is the president of AMAT, and we're going to get into what actually AMAT stands for in just a little bit. But we're going to go ahead on and get started with this conversation because this month that we celebrate is very, very important. So tell me, what is National Minority Donor Awareness Month? Well, LaToya, National Minority Donor Awareness Month is an observation that started back in 1991 um, through the National Minority Organ um, Tissue Transplant Education Program by Dr. Claude Callender. And what it was, was to be able to honor and celebrate those families and those people who give self selflessly of donation, but also to educate our minority communities on the importance of participating in the organ and tissue donation process. So why is it so important that we went from celebrating a week to now celebrating it for a whole month? Well, that's an interesting question because that week really honored African, the African-American community. Mm -hmm. But now as we have evolved over 30 years, there are more multicultural communities. And as we mentioned earlier, AMAT stands for Association of Multicultural right? And so yes. we want to make sure that we are communicating with not only our African American communities, our Hispanic, Latinx, our LGBTQIA, our Asian, our Native American, our indigenous population, our Muslim communities. And so we have a lot more communities that can benefit from education and awareness. And um, we have a lot more um, people in the transplant community who are multicultural. So here's a question for you, because we're celebrating this month, what collaborative partners have you worked with or that we're working with to make sure that we understand the importance of celebrating this month? Well, yes. So what happened was about eight months ago, everybody is, all the partners in the organ donation industry mm -hmm. are trying to do different things for different communities. And so we came together with AMAT, uh, with MOTEP, which is what I explained, with Donate Life America, which is known as DLA, um, with HRSA, Health and Human Services, um, and the National Kidney Foundation. And we all got together to say, how can we best use all of our resources? Because we all provide unique opportunities and we're uniquely positioned to do different things. AMAT, we are uniquely positioned to deal with, educate, and share information about my multicultural communities. So we all came together to form the National Multicultural uh, Action Group and it's made up of all these organizations and we created the new collateral and the new information for National Minority Donor Awareness Month. About a year ago I lost my husband and uh, he was a tissue donor and uh, I received a letter from his cornea recipient. You know, all donation helps people, whether it's saving a life, enhancing a life, it is a help to someone else. It gives them a second, second opportunity to do something else. And my husband's uh, a recipient said that while she lost her husband, she wasn't able to see him before she died but she now can see her daughter. So, you know, it's uh, donation is donation. What was that conversation like when you was talking to your husband to even sign up to be an organ donor or even for you to say, yes, I want to do it? Well, it was so funny. I started working at Gifts of Hope uh, 11 years ago and our daughter was 10 at the time. And uh, she, as only 10 year olds can be, she came, to, she came with me to take your children to work day and so she learned all about the lab all about the pope and we were at an event and she was like who's registered and then she's like mommy do you know daddy's not registered i'm like what do you mean daddy's not registered but he's not registered to be a donor and i said dude do you know what i do every day you get to be registered and like most people in multicultural communities this is the one thing they say well i want you to handle it i want you to handle it and i always tell people in that moment, you can't ask me to handle it because in that moment, I don't work at Gift of Hope. In that moment, unfortunately, it happened for me. And in that moment, I wasn't thinking about Gift of Hope. I was thinking that my best friend, my person, I'm, I'm never going to see him again. So that moment was really what donor families go through, is that they're asking you to do something. They're asking you to save someone else's life. And so I didn't hesitate because I knew he and I had the discussion 
And even though he was registered on his license, it gave me such peace and comfort to be able to make that happen. What would be a lasting message that you would want to share with individuals about this particular month when we're talking about minority donor awareness or donation in general? It is about starting a conversation. It is about having a conversation, not just in a tragic circumstance, not in a funeral home, but if you register, if you don't want to register. I read today, I do this daily Bible walk, and I, I read today in Isaiah, and it said, one out of one person died, right? One out of one person died. That means that even as distasteful as talking about death is, it's going to happen to every one of us. So. Why not plan for the one thing that's going to happen to all of us? 